Now, the first thing that I want to do is show you guys a short walkthrough of what we've got going on in the theater. And then we'll get into some of the details of what it is you guys are seeing shortly thereafter. So we're entering the theater from the back of the room. And the first thing that I want to highlight are the colors going on in the room. We chose not to make the room a completely dark bat cave with black walls and a black ceiling because we wanted to use the room for more than just watching movies. And for that purpose, we wanted it to have the feel of a comfortable space that you just want to hang out in, while at the same time still providing the aesthetic of a practical and well-designed home theater. Now, the colors on the wall are Sherman Williams, Steady Brown, and on the ceiling, it's a dark chocolate brown called Well-Bred Brown. The wife and I have always really loved neutral colors, and we felt that this would give us that nice, comfortable feel that we were searching for. Having the stage screen was important because while watching movies, TV shows, and playing video games in the room, we wanted no distractions from what we were seeing on screen. So encapsulating and engulfing the screen in a sea of blackness was key in achieving that outcome, and we absolutely achieved the desired effect. Properly designed and aesthetically pleasing acoustical treatment of the room was important. Although I wanted to do a really cool fabric wall design to cover the acoustical treatments and to add more acoustical properties, the reality was I wanted a two-row eight-seat theater, and adding the framework for a fabric wall design would have taken up too much space, and I would have had to have moved two seats out of the room to accommodate it. So I think we settled on a very nice balance of aesthetics and practicality when it comes to that. So now we're looking at the ceiling heights. And in the back, you can just barely see the two in the rear. The two in the middle are subwoofers. And the two front ones that you're seeing here are the front heights. And we're going to move it on to the riser here in a moment. The riser is 20 inches high. Now, I'm 6'2". And when I step on the riser, I still have about 5 to 6 inches from the top of my head to the ceiling. And we'll get into the room dimensions here shortly. Now we're looking at the control system which is control four, and the whole house is automated with control four. And you'll notice there are no speakers or subwoofers visible throughout the room, and that was purposeful. All the speakers and subwoofers are architectural, meaning that they are either in wall or in ceiling. Looking at the projector and the anamorphic lens, the HVAC return, which is only 18 inches away from the projector so that we can make sure that we keep it cool. And this is me standing on the riser facing the screen. In a moment, I'm going to step off the riser. I'm going to try not to trip because it is 20 inches high. It's almost two feet. So I've got to be careful here. You'll notice me taking my time. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to the speakers on the back wall, the rear surrounds, rear atmos heights, and the rear subs. Now we're looking at the rear atmos, the rear surrounds, and the rear sub. We're going to move it to the projector, to the back of the projector, so we can see what's going on there. We've got the Ethernet and electrical outlet that you see here, as well as the power protection, the watt box, to make sure that it doesn't blow out in an electrical storm or anything. Now, the spacing behind the seats, there's roughly three feet, feet excuse me, there's roughly three feet from your ears when sitting in the rear seats to the rear surrounds. So there's plenty of distance behind the seats for a good sound dispersion. Control four switches, as well as my Nest thermostat. The theater has its own HVAC zone. The touchscreen for the theater, the control four touchscreen. And this is the rack with the rack door off. Normally the door is on to control any sound coming from that direction. But I wanted to show you the, the devices inside without any glare coming from the the glass window or anything. And we'll get into what the devices are here momentarily. So just bear with me. We're going to do one last pan around the room. And now I am back in my seating position. And you'll notice there's plenty of distance between the sitting area 
to the screen. So everything will be within your peripheral when looking at that screen. It's a fantastic thing. So that was just to give you guys an idea of what it is we see and what it's like being in that room. 